Uh, I'm Big Jeezy. Um, this is my nigga Justin Over right here. This is my nigga XO Ray. This is uh, NEC Mercy right here. We woke. Uh, we in downtown Ramarillo right now. We just feeling the vibe. Uh, we got my nigga Spirit behind the camera right now. We chilling on God. So it's the vibe. It's the vibe. Uh, I got to Amarillo. Uh, I've been here for like the last seven years. Uh, I, I've been here basically all my life, really. Uh, Amarillo is a beautiful city. Uh, it's dangerous on some side of the towns, but it's, it's really dope. I, I fuck with, you know, the beauty of Amarillo. There's, there's good and bad, so it evens it out, you know? What about you, Avery? Shit, man. I, I was raised here a little bit, but I was born from Houston. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, with the music scene and all that, I'm just really trying to get my sound out there. Oh, God. That's about it. I started this shit probably like two years ago. Uh -huh. Shit. I'm just trying to get out there, really. Yes, sir. This man, we was in the car together. Uh, we was in the car together, and he was like, "Bro, we should do like something," because we was we we love Kid Cudi and we like we love Kanye. And the original idea was like, we need to do something like an album of a like a group together. And I was like, "Shit, you know?" I was like, "Let's let like," I named the album, and he was like, "Let's let's name the group Woke," and. He's been having the idea, like he puts it in his albums, he puts it everywhere he does, like he puts woke and that's it. And I feel like he created the group really. Like this is the man, the visionary himself, XO Rafe. That's it. I wish the other members were here. A shout out to Black, Young Black, shout out to uh OTW Blue, uh shout out 23rd. Uh I wish the rest of them niggas was here with us too. But this this right here is woke. We woke. And we like a family. We all like a family. And I'm, I'm glad this happened. This nigga came all the way from Lubbock. Y'all came from Lubbock, bro. Shout out to y'all, bro. Like, cause no one hasn't ever done that shit to, to some Amarillo niggas, you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate the love and I appreciate the support. Uh, I really do mean it. I'm, I remember I was like four or five years old whenever Kanye dropped 808s and Heartbreak. And I remember Heartless, was a song that my aunt, yeah, a song that my aunt would constantly teach me about. And I would remember it word for word. And it made me feel like I was like confident. I was like, I want to do this shit one day. I want to make a song like that. Like to express my feelings, to express my thoughts, uh, express my mind about like what I've been going through. Uh, 808s and Heartbreak was like, my grandma, she got me that album. I remember my grandma got, got me like, graduation on a CD and uh, <laughs> I remember she got me that on the CD and I felt like I wanted to do this like this was my soulful purpose and uh, I felt like it was it was cool you know but like I also listened to like Mike Jones Texas native Mike Jones that man's legendary over here man like he he inspired the lean culture he inspired all of that so I listen to them too, cause like I always want to keep my roots, you know. So it's just like I don't know. I gotta say Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean. Yeah. I don't know what song I heard from the radio, but I think it was the song with Kanye West on it. Was it like No Church in the Wild? Yeah. No like Church that. in the Wild. Oh <laughs> my God, that Watch the Throne album was sick. So when I I got inspired by music in general. It's like heavily, like 2005. Oh God! You know, I I was little, listening to ass music, <laughs> slapping my my mom's best friend's ass. <laughs> was just like, Yo! Yo. Like age of five. Bro, you know? like, bro, I was like, bro. That 50 cent shit, huh? Oh, 50 cent, huh? So got you like, crazy. <laughs> When it, when it comes to making music, bro, like, <laughs> I was heavily inspired by, like, 2005, like, especially about, like, around, like, I like Big Bus and I cannot lie. Damn. Yeah, you, know, <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? It was, like, it was heavily on, around ass. <laughs> it was heavily around ass. Heavily around ass. But it, it was, that's what inspired me. Mercer? She would come down to music. I ain't gonna lie, I'm raised by an 80s baby, so I'm used to music. Uh, Akon, you know what I'm saying? Oh, see. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I got inspired. Uh-huh. Like, I found my flow. I like to, like, project my flow. I like to, like, preach, you know what I'm saying? Yeah.
Yeah. My first song, I remember vividly that it came out like 2021. 2021. I was I was doing music with my friend. Uh, shout out to AP Low. Uh, AP Up, you know what I'm saying? But that nigga, he, he made me go to do a song with him. And it was called Flip Project. It never came out. Because I was like, you know, it's my first song. I don't I don't want to show up to people. Like, if I if it was good, it's good. But if it was terrible, it's terrible. And I didn't want the embarrassment of be like, oh, he can't rap. So it was just like, I, I told him hold the song in the files and just keep it, you know, if he ever wants to release it, he can. But, you know, I was just shy about the song. And, like, <laughs> that, that was the, the first song I ever recorded, like, ever, ever. So it was pretty crazy. Uh, <laughs> I, I was uh, in my room, bro, and I just decided to write a song, bro, and YFW Melody Remix, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Freaky ass nigga. <laughs> I didn't even, I, ha I haven't even lost my virginity. Back. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a rap. And then I told my mom it. She was like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, I'm telling you, my mom was on my ass, bro. My mom was on my ass. Ray, what's up? What was your first song? Huh? Ever? What was the first song you like ever made, fam? You know? Like, ever. Like, if you, you think about it, I know it was one of those freestyles. I don't really like my freestyles. I don't want to count them. You don't want to count <laughs> them? Yeah, but still yeah, I made this like one song. It was like over a Joey Badass beat. And I like freestyled over it, but it was like my first ever time freestyle. So, yeah. And it was like really kind of. I didn't like so it. When was that? I was like, when I was like a senior back in high school. Yeah. And that was like probably a couple of years ago. Oh, God. What about you? First song, well, technically, I was a feature. Oh God! Yeah. I know. Yeah, that's how we met. It's crazy. Shit, I remember I met this one dude. He's a he's a cool ass nigga. His name is uh, ACM Toxic. I met him on a show. He's he's locally. I met him on a show and uh. I was performing and I got that performing and then this man come up next to me and he was like, I don't fuck with your shit. Like, you live. And so I saw him perform and this man was fire, bro. Like, I, I was surprised, like, he didn't have a big enough crowd, but this man, he, he sucked the first time. Bro. So I don't know what to say. Yeah, that's a game mask. Like, bro, bro, you cannot do like, bro, happy voices or nothing. You know how, like, artists use, like, their, their actual song. He used the instrumental and he was just fucking going off, bro. I remember that show. It was uh, it was called Friday Night. That shit was lit. This man was there. He was there to support me at my show. And uh, Avery or XO Note, XO Rave, uh, he was there too. But shit, it was lit. I loved it. That was the first artist I ever met. So was Avery the first artist you ever met? Him, he's making this album called what? Tell him. Um, I've been making this album called MIA. Shit, I've been working on it for about like a year and a half. Oh it's god. Been a while. I still think it's not finished, so I'm still working on it till like this day. I feel like I'm gonna just drop it next year mm -hmm. for sure. But that's the only project I'm working on at the moment. <laughs> Me, I'm making uh this album uh related to like all my my past two years. It's been uh, good and bad, and so like with the music I'm making, I just wanted to like show like how it's been ever since I, I'm in this this music industry kind of, and uh, it's called a uh, 
three, three, three. I wanted to, I still in the, in the works of the title, but I want something that's like related to like three, three, three. And uh, it's gonna be hard, bro. I have a couple tracks. I have a track with him. I have a, I'm having a track with Nova as we speak. And uh, album's gonna come out February 14th. I'm hyped about it. I'm hyped about the shoot. This is exciting, man. I said excited for real. We're gonna get some my shit, bro. It's love and thoughts, bro. You know, that shit's gonna be coming out, bro. Love and thoughts. Love and thoughts, bro. I, I'm I'm trying to go at a different angle on this album, bro. So when it does come to love and thoughts. Oh shit. I got yeah. you, yeah. When it comes to love and thoughts, <laughs> uh, man, I'm hoping for big things, man. I'm I'm hoping that it actually changes perspective about just not just about me, but the yeah. people around me too, like and people outside the box type shit. You know, outside. To, yeah, you know, I want people to think more than just themselves. You know, I feel that. But sometimes, if you got put yourself in someone else's shoes. Five years, uh, bro. I want to touch a at least at least be knowing that I'm okay. Like I don't I don't care about. Money, I, at least I know that my family's still alive. I'm okay. We're all safe. We we all got money to touch. At least at least we we all good. I want to see us, you know, live the next five years. Wow, that's the shit, bro. Honestly, bro, like I just I, I hope to strive in our group. Be great. And everybody yeah. Everybody be better, bro. Like we all be better selves. And, you know, and shit, we gotta put harder every day. Every Always. day. Always, always, never less, bro. But if you want me to be like, for real, for real, I see us in five years, like, hopefully on top of the team, like Amarillo in general, like everywhere, everywhere. We got, we got make same vision, right? Same vision. Yep. Same vision. You? Have to be. Yeah. No stress. No stress. Five years ago. I was like, dog, you know, writing in your journal led up to you for real rapping now? That's crazy. I know, like, I was, in eighth grade, I remember, like, I used to, like, write rhymes and stuff, and it would be, like, some corny shit. And I was like, you know what? I'm never going to be a rapper. Like, I would never, like, see myself do that. And it's just crazy now, like, five years later, I'm doing this. I'm doing this right now. There's no beauty. I say that. There's no beauty. There's no beauty to, to like, because if you're saying what happens whenever life is done with life, just, no one, everybody's gonna be like, that, that's just me though. Like, there wouldn't be no beauty at all. There wouldn't be no talents built. There's no nothing. Nothing's created. And so without that, there's no beauty. It's like it's like saying what's humanity without humanity. People with feelings, you know what, what? What's humanity without? You know what scares me? I'm gonna bring up this topic. AI, AI is going crazy right now, and it's just like kind of scary to see like how capable it is. Because I feel like you know, once it gets stronger, and you know, they make actual people that are AIs and stuff like that. I feel like this world's done. Like it's, it's screwed in a way. I, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to seem like I'm crazy and all. But I feel I feel like that in a, in a way. So you. What you think about like whenever life is done with with life? Well, like that's it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, There's it's nothing. Only like a one-time thing that everybody has. Yeah. And you know, like after it's done, it's done. I don't want to sound like so edgy on that shit. I know. Like, you know, you got you get, shit YOLO. YOLO. Shit, YOLO. YOLO. You only live once and once, bro. <laughs> but, like, shit, you gotta push everything to the end, bro. You got, do you have anything to lose at the end of the day? Shit. Right. Shit, real nigga shit. Mm -hmm. I, what's funny is that I remember having the same fucking conversation with you and him and him. Yeah, like, bro. It's crazy. Oh, oh God, bro. <laughs> like, but nah. Uh, we finna shoot this video. Nova, Rage, 
Mercer. We out. Woke, baby.